I want to know what was the age of the person who produced the eggs? Were they from an egg donor? Were they genetically tested? What is the quality of the embryos? When were the embryos frozen? Oftentimes, you know, we don't know where they were frozen, but hopefully they came from a reputable lab. Those are the factors medically that are going to affect the overall success rate. The first step is the lab reviews it to make sure that whatever freezing protocol was used, we can unfreeze those embryos, we can warm those embryos. And then start looking at the embryos in terms of their freeze protocol. How long ago were these embryos frozen? Not necessarily because time is the issue, but they may have been frozen with outdated technology. Slow frozen embryos may have slightly less of a chance of survival than vitrified embryos. Certain devices that have been used to freeze embryos also carry on their own risks of success. Then we're going to start looking at the quality of the embryos. And hopefully if these are good embryos, they're coming from a good lab. Uh, you know, there are national statistics on success rates. Some practices will fall above that, some will fall below that. But one of the simple metrics that you can use is, has there been a successful pregnancy from this cohort of embryos? That doesn't mean they're coming from a good lab, a bad lab, an average lab. But if these embryos resulted in a pregnancy in the past, there's at least a reasonable chance that they could again in the future. Interestingly, the success rate of donor embryo or donor egg is really dependent on the age of the egg, not the age of the uterus. So a 46 year old woman who uses an embryo that was created from a 30 year old egg has the same likelihood of achieving a pregnancy as a 30 year old patient. The typical recommended age for egg donation is 21 to 34. And that's because in a 21 to 34 year old, there's gonna be about a 70% likelihood that each egg is chromosomally normal. With embryo donation, you're typically knowing the stage at which the embryos were frozen, the quality of the embryos, the age of the person who produced the eggs at the time of the egg retrieval whether they've been genetic tested, genetically tested or not. So there are a lot of things, a lot of factors. There's a lot of information about donor embryos we know that will by and large overcome a lot of those age related issues. If the source of the sperm was donor or perhaps a surgical sperm retrieval, if we have say a group of all untested or euploid embryos, then we will start looking for the fours and the fives and the sixes, the A's and the B's. All of these questions might influence a clinician's recommendation for the selection.